Dawson here, and today I'm I'm doing something a little bit creative and showing you how I used to make uh, championship belts for uh, my show in uh, WWE 2K. You see, first off, you know you get your image, right? Of what type of championship you want, right? In this instant, uh, instance, I'm using the NXT Cruiserweight Championship, right? First off, I'm making the front plate in which uh, I make it on a thousand by one, one thousand by one thousand uh, area and then I get the pin tool right and then I start at the you know bottom and then I work my way up to the top and I only just make one side of it right because you see you have to make uh, changes you know right to make sure it fits you know the shape of the front plates and I use the no tool and I just you know uh, keep it you know small keep it you know similar right or if you don't want to actually use the place because that's an option in WWE 2k you can change option stuff like as you see I'm moving you know the in and stuff out which is just something you can do if you want to be more creative but for this instance I'm just putting them back in place to fit the cruiserweight championship and then after I'm done I create a second copy of it right I duplicate it and then I I flip it and then I do the magnetic to make it as close as possible to the to the left side right because here's the thing about it, these aren't going to be perfect copies of each other because images aren't perfect and all that for some reason sometimes and you see I'm using the stroke, stroke or outline, whatever you want to call it, to see how close I am to the left side. And this is the best I can do, so I, you know, combine them. And you, yes, you see this, you know, line in the middle. And usually what I do for that is I just get a triangle, right? Make a triangle here. And, you know get the color out of the middle put it in the middle and then I combine both shapes and when you combine both shapes it fixes the problem but you still you know you got you know the lines a little bit still so you get your node tool again right and then you just move them so they're in the original shape and that makes sense right you see you know just put in it in the original And uh, just to make sure it's perfect, you know, get rid of the actual image of the cruiserweight. You're done with it. You don't need any more. You can delete it to make your workspace cleaner because you're probably going to be needing to keep it as clean as possible when making championships because of all the elements. And now once you're done doing this, I usually I make three copies of the shape. I think right here yeah three copies the top one I like it to be a outline of 10 the middle 20 and then the bottom one uh, 30 and basically this is just for the outlines to make sure <coughs> it looks like it has dimensions to it right and for this one is a mid card type belt in my mind so I'm using a lot of gray and the black is just there until I can find find what color I want because usually my belts are more than just silver they're usually you know have blues and all that and for this option I think I used red and you see as you do as, as you figure out what you want your front plate to look like right you have to start changing a bit more because you want a black or whatever your alternate color is to be around what you want the front plate color to be and in this instance black outline around the gray now the footage is going to speed up here a little bit and this is going to be an internet championship so I 
because I have the, you know, materials for it, right? So first off, you know, go on YouTube in the middle because internet usually means you're on YouTube. And then, you know, I usually like to use gems, but because it's the internet, I like to use, you know, internet looking globes by the, you know, main piece of the title. And then, you know, I put one, I put it, I place it, duplicate it, put it on the other side. And then, you know, we need to have something for the Internet and Championship to go into, like the words Internet and Championship. And so I get the Crescent tool and then I, you know, put, make another shape out of it, you know, do the same thing I did to make the actual front plate itself. And then after I'm done making it, I, I'm a botch right here. But anyway, as I'm saying, you know, you make your shape, you adjust it a little bit, right? Get your text tool. And then you you duplicate the, the arch. And then once you do that, you're able to basically make a perfect, like, text arc as well for it. To make sure, like, it fits in the arch. And then, you know, I do that for the internet and the champion. I forgot to duplicate it for the bottom for champion, but I fixed that. And then, you know, we need more color on the plate. So, I'm, so usually for gray belts, I use a black arch. And then red, because it's the main color of it. And then I, I like to put white outline if I use black on the text, no matter what color it is. And then, you know, as you're done with this... You, you adjust the champion and the internet until you like how it looks. And then, you know, you need some more, you know, texture to it, right? So, for internet, right, use tech lines, right? And then you put that in the, you see the bot in the, you know, first one, right? The top 10 of it. And then you, you know, erase eraser right and then the middle one you make it red right so that is the right color red and now right here I'm putting a little you know outline so whatever show logo you have right you can put it in the black right and then after you're done with how you like it I you know just emboss in 3d affect it until I like how it looks and then you know you go back in after you emboss and effect and outline stuff to make it look more on the belt you know more dominant on the belt like you can see it no matter what especially with you know dominant red and all that I use black outlines now it's time for the uh, side plates this is easier most of the time right you do need to actually do keep whatever belt you're using, right? Because if you're trying to make a full set, you need to, you know, keep it and then use the note tool. For this, you don't have to, uh, you know, you know, do the left side and then combine it with the right side. Unless that's how you want the belt to look, the side place to look. Otherwise, you can just make the full shape and then use your note tool, adjust it. Do the same process, you know, copy make three copies of it 10 20 30 and then you know and then you just use elements from the front plate you know the tech lines red all that keep the YouTube gold right unless you want custom side plates some things you can't keep some things you can't I I use a circle here because usually that's that's common for me to use you know make it look good until you fig find your champion and find his logos that you want in there and then you know you keep on adjusting it until it fits perfectly and then after you're done making the left side of it right save it and then you know you take your three just flip it and you're good to go one thing I didn't do in this video, but I usually do, is I use the, the dominant color, which is gray, right? Well, not really dominant, the main metal of what you're going for, right? Which is gray. 
and I and I put it over the uh, I put it over the, you know I put it behind the actual thing right because sometimes you know these shapes aren't fully perfect right and the grace just to help that and yeah that that is it I hope you enjoyed this you know tutorial type thing if I if you need if you have questions you know make comments and I will answer them I may make a second video if I went too fast if you think I went too fast I may make a second video multi-part it you know all that but anyway I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you later this week for uh, more sports content